Hello everybody, Kevin Savatola here with One Team Realty. I'm out here in Orlando, Florida, checking out the master plan community called Meridian Parks. And now this community is amazing. I mean, check out this clubhouse. And it has an amazing pool and they have a lot more amenities still. So, I mean, if you're looking for an amazing community, this is the one. <laughs> But today, we're gonna to be checking out this nice big two-story home that's just over 3,000 square feet. It comes standard as a four, two and a half, but you could make it into a five bedroom if you do need that fifth bedroom. Now, this is a beautiful home, so you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video, and you wanna stay tuned towards the end of the video where I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the area and why you should choose this location. So, come on in and enjoy the tour. Okay, so let's check out the Olympic. Now, it looks massive right off the bat. You do have some nice brick pavers coming on in, and you can see how nice it looks up front. And one thing I forgot to mention in the introduction video is that this home right now, with all the upgrades included, not like this exact home, but you're looking at the low 700s to the mid 700s. So depending on the upgrades and what they currently have in inventory. Now, I do like the brickwork that they put here. They didn't put too much and it's nice and subtle. So coming on in, you are welcome with a nice big eight foot door. And be ready to be amazed. This house is nice. So you do have a flex space right off the bat. And it looks like this one is the one that could be turned into an extra bedroom if you would like. You can leave it as an office like this, or if you want to make it into a formal dining. But you can see kind of, I would think this is where the closet will be, but like that, you got a good idea of the, the space. I do like how they have some extra drywall work to separate the front with the rest of the house. But let's go on in and check out all this space. I feel like if somebody's sitting on the couch, I gotta yell to them for them to hear me. But you can see it's definitely a nice size kitchen. This kitchen island is pretty long. They put four bar stools there. You can't fit a fifth, but I will assume this is like a 10 foot kitchen island. And then what do you guys think about these modern sleeker looking cabinets? I like some, I like some shape into it, not just a easy square, but everybody's different. Now, they did do the gourmet kitchen option, which gets you this nice, cool looking vent going up. And I am a fan of the countertop being kind of the backsplash. And it goes all the way up to the roof, which is super cool. And then right over here, you can see where you have your double ovens, or sorry, your microwave is this one. And then you got your oven right below. And then right here, we got our pantry. Definitely a good size pantry. Definitely could fit all the food there. Unless you got, unless you really like to shop at Sam's Club and then bulk up on everything, that will work very good. And there you can see again, where they continue the backsplash going up. Definitely a nice touch. Some people don't like it, some people do. I personally love it. And right over here, we do have the powder bath for downstairs. You got me right there and saying hi. And then right here, you got this little kind of niche. Um, you could set it up kind of different ways. They'll consider that a drop zone. So you can make that a good spot to hang some keys. Maybe put like a, a mail letter holder or something like that. Or you can put pictures just like as you see there. And then continuing over here, you can see they did put a nice big dining space and there's still so much space. I mean, you, you can fit a bigger table if you want, but that's that right there is a, it's an eight seater table for sure. They did give you some windows right there. Always nice to have some extra windows. And then we got this living room. Now, one thing that I would do differently is put those couches all the way to the back. I don't know why they left that space open i mean i understand maybe people could walk behind there and get there but i mean they could walk through it too but hey that just shows how much space you have here i mean they put all the normal amount of furniture and you could still push it back more 
Now it will be a far from the TV, so you're gonna have to get that. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get the 85 inch TV. This sucks, but hey, you gotta get an 85 inch to fill up this big old wall you got there. And let's check out up back, you get a nice size cover to nine, along with some triple sliding doors that are humongous. Everything's just big on this house. Big, big, big. So you can see the cover of knife goes from there and it goes the full length of the house, which is another big thing. So it's a 40 foot wide cover of knife and I'm assuming 10 feet deep. So you got 400 square feet of lanai space, which is amazing. Oh, this side opened up. Let me close it for the, for the sales reps. But yeah, we'll continue on right over there. We have the laundry room and then the master bedroom. So we'll go take a peek over there, see what's going on over there. So here's the laundry. So just your normal laundry room. Now, I know I've been saying everything is so big in this house. It's just your normal laundry room. They didn't make it big. But this master now, look at all that space. Now this is a big master. So you can see you got two gigantic nightstands on both sides along with the king size bed. I'm digging the trim work that they put in the back as well. You got a view out back to your cover and eye as well. And yeah, there's just plenty of space here. I mean, you could definitely run around if you want to, or if you want to get a bigger, thicker headboard, and but that'll push your bed forward, you could do that as well. You could do, there's so many possibilities because there's just so much space. And then going on to the master bathroom, they did give you a tub. So all, for all my tub lovers out there, you know who you are. Some people don't care for tubs. Some people, it's a necessity. Right there is your toilet room. And then you have your double sinks as well. I'm a fan of those countertops. Those are called the Calicata style. Definitely one of the higher end countertops out there, but it, they look nice. And then check out this master shower. You got the wood look tile going all the way up to the ceiling and then little square tiles at the bottom. Definitely looks really nice. And then over here, you got your master closet. Definitely a good size. I would probably put another shelf right here and then also a little bit more right here, but you do have storage space under the staircase. So you can see they put a little luggage there. So good spot to put away some random little things like luggages or you can put that in the attic, whatever you want. But definitely another, another bracket going all the way there and even going around this corner too. It's a must for me. I don't know why I didn't do that, but that's on them. So now we got to go upstairs and see what they got going on upstairs. So we saw one bedroom so far. There's going to be three more upstairs and another bathroom. Okay. So I do like the iron spindles that they put right here. Definitely a nice upgrade to do if you ever have the opportunity to choose your upgrades. Usually the build process takes about a year and some builders don't even offer the whole build process from dirt to completion. So one thing to keep in mind, so if you do want to build from the ground up, just let me know and then I'll find the right builder in location for you. Now. Back on the topic of big, I mean, check out this loft. This is a big loft. They even put a wet bar over here. This is huge. So you got an office little spot over here. I would probably put like a pool table or something out here. <laughs> Ping pong, whatever. I mean, they got guitars over here. I mean, it looks like the people here like to rock and roll. They're just missing a nice drum set and a bigger TV, of course. Every house, every model home needs a bigger TV, to be honest. They cheap out on the TVs for sure. And right over here, 
We do have another linen closet. Linen closets are always a must to have. And I continue on the topic of big. I mean, it's a big house, so you got two AC units. So it is a big AC closet. Definitely a great spot if you gotta store your brooms, your vacuums, all those little thing mops. Because there's plenty of space here. And then right over here to the left, we do have a full bathroom where you got your double sinks. They do put a privacy door here for your toilet and shower. What do you guys think of this tiles? Definitely, I like it. It gives you like a like a higher end Spanish home feel, like those older homes that are like stones in like Italy or something. I don't know. <laughs> Spaniard. <laughs> I don't know what's the right word for it, but definitely a fan. And then right over here, you can see you got really big bedrooms. All right, I'm just saying big too much. I, I overuse that adjective. What's another adjective? Ginormous, huge. Sorry, right, I'm, I'm just here talking to myself. <laughs> Here's another huge room. I, I can't keep saying big. You guys are probably tired of me saying big all the time. But yeah, ginormous room right over here. And then off to the right, we got our last ginormous room. What do you guys think? You like how ginormous everything is? Because I like it. Thank you everybody for watching today's video with me today. I had a great time showing you around this home. Now this home is called the Olympic and like I gotta be an Olympic athlete to run around this home and film this video because it's so ginormous and big, but it's a nice house. I mean, we have an amazing living space. You got a great cover Naya back. And as far as this location, you're close to Lake Nona, which is the fastest growing community out in central Florida. And then you're also close to the 528 highway, which will help you get to downtown really quickly or to the beach. I mean, if you're moving to Florida, you definitely want to be close to the beach, right? Now, we also are close to the 417, which is another highway that could help you get to Celebration, to, to Lake Nona quickly. So that's another road to have, that's or highway, that's good to have close to you. And since this area is growing so much, they're also working on putting more schools and whatnot. So this is a great area, definitely growing a lot. And tell me, is it is it a good location for you? Because it's a great location. It's one of the prime locations out in the Central Florida area. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, because that really definitely helps me out. And if you or anybody you know is looking to buy a home in the Central Florida area, feel free to call me. I would love to be your realtor for your next dream home in Central Florida. Now, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.